hello guys i'm going to be teaching a bnu today i'm gonna to be teaching bnu 1501 is also the same as for things that i'm going to be teaching if you are doing dsc 1520 you can also listen to this video so i'm going to be talking about a financial financial maths financial maths today so in financial maths we have a simple simple interest simple interest is when by you can use s equals to p in brackets one plus r t whereby s is accumulative 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 amount accumulative amount and p is a principal principal amount amount and then r r is interest rate is an interest interest r is an interest rate r is an interest rate and then t is term means term it represents number it can be number of years number of what of years so this principal amount it can be written some of them in the books in the question they can say invested invested borrowed it can also be deposited it depends on the on the frame of the question on, something like that it depends what kind of question you are dealing with so if you want to see let's say you want to see the number you want to see how much interest are you going to pay maybe if you are borrowing a certain amount of money so or you are investing a certain amount of money you use this formula as i equals to p r t where i is the interest rate in the interest that you're going to pay or you're going to receive p is the principal amount is the money that you are borrowing or you're investing r is the interest rate that you and between the person you are borrowing each other the money you are investing to the bank you are going to use and t is the number of years you are going to invest that money or you a number of years that you are going to have to pay out up that money so that's you use this one so, so a question can say you are going to invest let's say 1000 in a simple interest simple interest simple interest of you are going to invest 1000 simple interest for 12.5 percent annually for let's say for like uh, let's say maybe two years three years yeah for three years so what will happen here if you have to calculate the accumulative amount we are going to use s equals to p brackets one plus rt then our principal amount is the money we invested is one thousand then brackets one plus what r is the interest rate which is going to be zero comma one two five multiplied by three years then after that you just use your calculator then when you use your calculator you're gonna see you're gonna get the value of the amount that you need to use so now when you have this now when you have this that i gave you now we're going to move to compound 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 interest so for compound interest compounded interest then for compound interest then for compound interest we use a formula is s equals to p in brackets one plus r to the power t some books they could say it a equals to p one plus i to the power n it's also fine because in your question papers normally they use this one but in your study guide they use this one so but you can choose any is fine so in a compound interest what's going to happen you have to know some certain amount some certain things the first thing or second is i'm just naming the first thing if the question says compounded compounded annually if i have my p let's assume that my p okay 
compounded annually, if it says compounded annually, the first thing you know, R, you have to divide it by what? 1, which is going to remain as R. Né? But before you divide R, you remember you have to divide, you have to convert it to 100 so that it can be decimal. Then your T, you have to multiply it by 1. Then it's going to be what? T. That's when it's, what, it's compounded annually. But secondly, if it's compounded, compounded similarly, semi yearly semi yearly it can be a half yearly it can be by annually so if you have such things semi yearly half yearly by annually so what you need to do you are you're going to divide it by two so this is going to be one over two r then your t you will multiply it by two which is going to be 2t. So it's when it's a half yearly. So if it's compounded, 